can you bypass ADL authorized mode for free on the Xiaomi Poco F1? What's up peeps, Manji here and let us talk about whether you can bypass ADL authorized mode on the Poco F1 for free. The short and blunt answer is no. Those of you who want to know more about it and get some more knowledge feel free to continue watching now i do recommend that you watch my other videos about how i break my poco f1 how i got it back to life and how people scam you on the internet about edl authorized mode on the poco f1 before i get into the actual video i would also like to mention that i am no expert in edl mode however i'm just sharing my experience and what i tried and what worked and what did not work now what is edl mode edl mode is an emergency download mode which is present in all in fact in most qualcomm and mediatek devices mediatek devices call it download mode qualcomm devices call it edl mode this edl mode is a feature which is provided by qualcomm it is used to install factory firmware or factory software on a device which is brick by a brick i mean there is no access to fast boot mode and there is no access to recovery mode however the device can boot into edl mode every device has a different way of booting into edl mode for the poco f1 you have to short two pins by opening the device xiaomi has blocked edl mode as in as a normal user i cannot flash the poco f1 if it is stuck in edl mode or if it is bricked why has xiaomi blocked edl mode they have blocked edl mode for the normal user because resellers in china were buying the chinese variants of the xiaomi devices and by booting into edl mode they were flashing the global builds and then selling those devices overseas for a profit so xiaomi did not like this and they blocked edl mode on the poco f1 in fact they blocked it on all their devices so if Xiaomi blocked EDL mode for the normal person, how do they fix it? Well, for them, they have something called an EDL authorized account, which is used by the service centers. How that works is they still use the Xiaomi Mi Flash tool. That is the tool which is used to flash in EDL mode as well. However, if your device is stuck in EDL mode or there is no fast boot mode and recovery mode, then they boot it manually into EDL mode by shorting the pins and then they connect the device to the computer. It shows up as Qualcomm 9008 which is an indication that the device is in EDL mode. Next up they open Mi Flash tool and the device does show up over there and then they try to flash it. That is when you get an EDL authentication window. You have to sign in with your me account and anybody can sign in you will get a message that this computer is now binded to this device and whatever whatever but eventually it will give normal person a message that you are not authorized to perform this operation those of you who have an edl authorized account or i should say people who have an edl authorized account they are first authorized and then they get another pop-up window wherein they have to enter some token information which i guess is a handshake with xiaomi's server and they get a one-time token for that device so that is where an authorized edl account the whole validation is done it's not just attached to your user id and password you also have a one-time token thing as well and once you enter that token then it is flashed and the device is revived or brought back to life now there are a bunch of videos on the internet which show you how to bypass this they use something called a fire hose so what is a fire hose well if you ever flashed a fast boot rom and you go into the images folder over there you will find a file with the extension .elf so this file is known as the firehose file and this i think is responsible for the authentication of a me authorized edl account now 
there are a bunch of files available on the internet which supposedly bypass this authentication however none of them worked for me i tried four different files you will get 10 different files from 20 different sources however if you check the md5 of those files i got only four files which were unique so i tried all those four files and all you need to do is replace the file and try to flash your device again but none of them worked for me the other free way which you will find is by using qualcomm's qfill tool i used that tool as well and tried it with those different firehose files and none of them worked for me so in short what i'm trying to say is that none of the free ways which are mentioned on the internet work as of now maybe they worked in the past but right now i could not get any of those free methods to work there are other paid tools like chimera and then you can also contact people who have authorized edl accounts to bring your poco f1 back to life however right now i know it is disappointing to hear but i could not find a free way to flash the poco f1 in edl mode there are paid ways out there and you can use a bunch of services and there are a bunch of paid tools available but there is no way to bypass the edl authorized mode as far as i know at the time of recording this video if there is someone out there who knows how to do it feel free to leave a comment on this video with the steps if and only if you have tried it personally do not comment that hey manji have you tried this have you tried this i have spent almost three days now looking into this and i could not find a free way so i will only try it if and only if you can confirm 100 percent that it works right now don't come and tell me it worked a month back or it worked three months back if you've tried it in the last five or six days maybe say in the last 15 days and it worked for you leave a comment down below with the details with the files i will disassemble my poco f1 again and give it a try and there it is peeps hope this helps those of you whose devices are bricked and who are spending time searching for files and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you